Hi, I'm Brock Davidson from Brock's Performance. Well, I'm here with my good friend Ed's 1999 Hayabusa. Beautiful motorcycle, um, a classic for sure. I don't think we could go off and call it vintage just yet. Uh, but what we're doing, we have uh, developed our Alien Head 2 exhaust system for this bike. Uh, a lot of guys are updating their old motorcycles these days, older, uh, to, uh, to get some performance gains. So um, we are verifying our database, our map database, uh, to work with this new exhaust. Well, when, you're, when we're going to do mapping, we, uh, we want to make sure that the fuel injection system and the injectors and everything are clean before we develop maps. There's no reason for us to develop a map with using dirty injectors. So what we do, uh, we use some of our winds power charge mixed with a couple of gallons of gas and we cleanse the fuel system just to make sure that everything is uh, everything's all up to par before we develop our mapping. Well, we made a couple dyno runs on, on Ed's bike um, and uh, you know Ed, Ed's a great guy. He just likes to, he's, he's, he cruises so uh, this bike, you know 14 years old has uh, it was sort of, let's call it loaded up a little bit, and, uh, and it made uh, right around peak power, made 163 horsepower, but we noticed that um, the horsepower curve was a little bit flat. We know from our, our past dyno runs a long time ago, we had set the air fuel uh, curve up to be right around 13.2. It was only reading 12.9, so I wanted to do a little bit uh, of an experiment. We, uh, we ran it on the dyno, got our horsepower numbers, and then we mixed two, uh, two gallons of gas with our winds, dumped it in, went on a 10 mile ride, and then we did something that no one else would ever do. We sucked the winds back out of it before we even made it any other, uh, any other runs because we wanted to know what kind of power the bike would make without you know, the chemical effect of the winds interfering with anything. So we pumped the fuel out of the tank, we put the gas that was in it previously back in, so back-to-back -back runs within, it took us about 25 minutes to make these changes, and now we're going to see exactly what kind of power the bike made um, just as a result of cleansing the fuel system. And if you, uh, if you look on our dyno uh, or on our website, you'll see people have reviewed the winds and they're very, very happy with what they feel. I've checked it myself. You can feel the difference when you take these bikes out for a ride. Um, you know, that's with the winds in the tank, but, but I'm going to invite you over. Come and check out our results. Check this out. All right. If we compare these two charts, we're here on the SAE scale. Um, and this is just between two dyno runs. Uh, um, dyno run six, dyno run eight. Before, the bike made 163 horsepower, after 166. That's a nice little gain. But if you come over here to 8900 RPM, previously made 156 horsepower. That jumps all the way up to 165. And torque, 92 foot-pounds up to 97 foot-pounds. Uh, down here, the air-fuel ratio went from 12.9 up to 13.2. And you know, 13.2 is what we're looking for at our 100% throttle, you know, in the upper RPMs. Now, if I move the cursor out of the way, um, look at the average gains that you pick up in here. Um, you're going to feel this type of gain. This is a seat of the pants gain that you will actually feel when you ride the motorcycle. And if you look at the curve previously, see how it's sort of flat in here? Um, the bike was sort of, it was just sort of lumbering to accelerate. Now. You know, over the years, um, you know, I've, I've seen, you know, you see the TV commercials, you know, trying to sell you, you know, this snake oil, that snake oil. I don't believe that kind of stuff. But one of the things I do believe is when I see curves like this, I know we have a problem. And fuel injected bikes, um, well, you know, they have problems the same as cars do. So uh, we went on a search trying to figure out ways to cure this problem. Uh, one of the ways were exotic race gases. Well, those are really expensive. Uh, they're hard to get and they can create problems of their own. So uh, once we found the, uh, the power charge product, 
Uh, it was an easy, economical, inexpensive way uh, for our customers to be able to cure this kind of problem on their own and be able to actually see the kind of results that we see here on our dyno. So anyway, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I'm Brock from Brock's Performance. Until next time, we'll see you then.